What up guys, George Gake is here with the G-Box Shallower. Okay, let's talk about some things we're not gonna do when using the G-Box Shallower, okay? So, number one, we're not gonna split everything and not turn, okay? We gotta turn. If you wanna split here a little bit, you can. I don't want you to stop turning everything and get your arms up here. Because what's gonna happen is, number one, if we don't turn, other things are gonna happen that we can't have happen. Number one, no turn equals slide to get it back inside. Because if I don't turn and I open up, I'm just gonna slice every ball or pull it or have a cut depending on where my face is at. So that's one. So if we don't turn, we are going to come in steep unless we slide, okay? Another thing I would like to not see is if we don't turn, most players are gonna suck their butt under to shallow the shaft, okay? So if you don't turn, you're gonna suck your butt in or you're gonna tilt, or what you're also gonna see is if you don't turn, you are not gonna to wanna to turn, so you're gonna pull your arms down and back before you turn. Now you're losing speed and you're losing low point control and face control, okay? All bad things. Another thing I look at is when you do not turn. A lot of players are gonna split their arms and when they split their arms, their face is gonna be very open, okay? This wrist goes very much into extension, okay? Which means it's open. And from there, most players are not gonna be shallow. They're gonna come in steep. So another thing is when our setup is off, our armpits are too far out on the toes and our butt sucks in as a reaction. Our shaft cannot shallow, okay? Let's get into that. So if my armpits are on my toes, I take it to the top, my butt sucks in, I shallow it, I would miss the ball. So it's gonna force me to already be steep. So if you're out of setup, you're in trouble. If your armpits are too far back, most likely you're not gonna hit a ball from here. Your armpits are gonna move closer then if you did shallow it, you'd miss the ball again. So you're gonna force yourself to stand up and be steep again. So be aware of getting your armpits, back of your armpits over the balls of your feet because that's gonna allow us the best ability to turn, okay? Now, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If my spine is flexed, that's to reach the ball. I can still extend my spine, not my hips and my knees, just my spine and my trail leg while I'm keeping this left bend in. If I do that, what happens is I've hit my parameters, meaning my butt and my head are still in the same position. Why my head didn't go down and having to suck it back in. So if you can keep left bend, extension and rotation to the top with this trail leg extending, hip staying in their natural flexion, not going like this, you from here, will be able to just pivot open without having these things I don't want, okay? So very important to understand. So anyone who sucks their backside in or closer because of setup will not shallow it because they'll miss it, so it'll always suck in. So when I see a player suck their butt in in transition for speed, their arms always go behind them, never in front, because you'd miss the ball. So when I'm looking at it, make sure that's something that's very important to all of us, okay? Yourself, myself, everyone else, we also need to understand that when we come in, players are not gonna commit to shallowing it out with their face open. Immediately from this position, I would not keep turning. I'd miss the ball right. It's gonna force me to slow down. It's also, if I shallow it, it's never gonna make me wanna commit. Meaning my arm, my right elbow would never go diagonal, it'd go back behind me and I'd square it this way. If the face was dead shut, my trail shoulder would always want to come in external. If my face is open, it would never, it's gonna to wanna to come back in this way. So if the face is open coming into the ball because you're shallowing it and you get down in here and it's open, recognize that you're gonna slow down or this arm's gonna go back behind you and you're gonna throw it. That's another important thing, okay? So another thing, when shallowing it, I see a lot of players that are gonna get this way. They're gonna shallow it and it's gonna get way under at the bottom. I still want this club parallel here to the original line with the face more shut, okay? 
I don't want this thing way dumped under. So shallowing does not mean this, okay? It means once it's shallowed in transition, you turn and you turn through it, okay? You're not trying to get this thing way dumped under at the bottom. That's not what shallowing is, okay? So when I see a player trying to get shallow, I see it usually like this. They'll go up top, they'll get in here and go, okay, I'm shallow. Hit big old slinging draws, that's okay. But the fact is, I don't want the club too far out and I don't want it too far under. I want it to be shallow and then parallel and then here, okay? And the fact is it is okay to be a little under and it's okay to be a little bit over if we're hitting draws or cuts, as long as you match the face up with that path, okay? So now that you understand what we don't want, you gotta set up right. You gotta get your face right. Another thing, why so many times do I see people put balls in their arms and it's still steep? Because they don't change the orientation of this. Their lead arm doesn't stay up and the elbow doesn't come under or there's no forearm rotation, however you want to call it, or there's no stretch from the body from right bend and left hip back, that this never happens. We see players with this in and they, we see them going like this and they're way steep. So putting a ball in your arms is not changing the orientation of this unless you know how, okay? So that to me means you are going to go up top if you kept the ball in and you're going to actually start to leave the lead arm up as you turn and get this one in front of the box. And then putting a ball in your arms would work. But I can see right here if you're pulling down. Your elbow's behind, this line's down, this line's not up. Okay, if you look at someone like DJ, okay, it looks like if they had something in their arms pointing, it would point right at the ball line. It would not be pointing down like this. This thing would be up on DJ. It would be up on Fleetwood. It would be up on Brooks, Kepka. It'd be up on a lot of great players, okay? Not many players you'd see down. Some are more level, but they have a lot of form rotation, okay? So when you're looking at the do's and don'ts, understand what we really want with this so you don't use it the wrong way by going, okay, I have this thing in my arms, I should be shallow. Shallow doesn't mean that the arms are deep. It means that the shaft is at a right angle to the back line. That's what shallow means. Doesn't mean you're pulling your arms straight down, okay?